okay uh, so uh, the first thing you will have to go to prakashgava.com website then you need to go into courses and then uh, uh, ato risk manager uh, tab then uh, this kind of uh, window will be there you need to if you want you can download the instruction manual which is on the top you can see the download instruction manual which will get opened in the separate uh, tab and after filling this form you need to click on to the download uh, software arm msi software after downloading this software you will see that this software is downloaded in your download folder that is pc download folder that is arm arm after that you need to double click on that uh, msi package uh, this this kind of window will get open you need to click on next to start installation uh, after installation you will see that uh, the arm folder will get generated in c drive uh, with the same name arm and then you need to click on finish after finish you will see that the icon is generated on the desktop so you can uh, double click that icon or you can open that account by right clicking uh, that icon then you need to you will see that these two pop up windows will get open one window is called as a console window which is black window and the second window is the gui window itself now in gui window by default you will see that the below profile you will see that there is a user id field so if you you will not write here your user id and if you will try to log in then it will it will tell you that uh, you are not registered user you are not it will tell you that you are not registered user so you need to provide this information and then you need to click on login button which which is there uh, inside profile only so you need to provide this uh, uh, user id at the same time depending upon your paper license and real license uh, you have to select the left uh, downside uh, button is there that is a flashing button there you need to select either paper only or paper real both this is there because if you have only paper license then you need not have to worry about this particular button which is at the bottom side but if you have a real license and if you want to do only paper trading then you can click on this paper paper only button so that it will work only in paper trading mode only so that is in this way the next one then uh, in between this if it ask you for e token then you can uh, you can copy the e token in this way i think most of you are knowing this how to copy it because the procedure is already given in the instruction manual we will come to this later on again then uh, after clicking on login you will see that the profile will change from login to logged in and similarly the downside button will be according to your selection paper only and it will be in yellow color and in the console window you will see that your license type will get printed there you will see that if you have paper license you will see that paper paper if it is a real license you will see that real paper and real so that information will get displayed there then the next one this is the same thing what i have shown is if you have a real license and if you are clicking on paper and real both then in that case you you will be uh, taken to paper and real but if you are clicking on paper only with the assumption that you have a real license then you will be taken only to the paper license paper trading only then the next one after clicking there you can see here if you have a real license you can see here real paper oblique real so that kind of information will be there if you have paper license uh, sorry real license if you have paper license you will see that only paper will be there then uh, uh, you can see in this particular uh, uh, slide that the version is 0.4.0.1 if you uh, if you want to update your version to the latest one and if the latest version is available that will get printed below your user id field so if your version is not matching then only this field will be printed at the, at that particular point otherwise it will be blank so here you can see now my version is 4.0.2 and now it is blank so it means that i have latest updated version and after login you will see that the user id field will become inactive and will get printed in black color then this is the default bull and bear stop loss values 
whenever you will start your system you will see that the bull and bear sl values will be 0 0 so and the default time frame is 5 minutes so you need to wait for 5 minutes if you are you have selected 5 minutes if you need to uh, you need to wait for 3 minutes if, if you have selected 3 minutes and accordingly it will work then yeah this is what i have shown here that the i have selected now zero now this zero has got a different feature if you have selected zero then in that case your bull sl and bear sl will not get updated automatically that means when you want to provide your own bull and bear sl and if you don't want that software should change the bull and bear sl values then you can put this value to zero if you are changing it to zero then bull sl and bear sl stop loss will not be changed automatically okay software will not change it you will be responsible for to provide the bull and bear sl stop loss but if you select 3 5 or 15 in that case according to your time frame selections this bull and bear stop loss will uh, uh, will get printed over here what is the bull stop loss bull stop loss is the low of the previous candle and what is the bear stop loss it is the high of the uh, previous candle now these values are very closer to the actual values because there is a there is a delay of 0.5 seconds uh, in our uh, uh, system so you need to understand this and accordingly you need to call, you need to modify this bull and bear sl stop losses then the next one is uh, assuming that you have a paper license and you are clicking on paper paper to real mode then it it will not change from paper to real if you have real license and if you are changing from paper to real then only it will change it to real otherwise it will not change the next one is after uh, restart you will see that the opening balance is always in is in blue color yeah one more important thing which i have forgotten <coughs> in this gui whatever is there in blue color it may be a blue color text it may be a blue color button it may be a blue color drop down it may be a blue color field whatever is there in blue color all those are changed or controlled by user all other values that means other than blue color values that means which your values are in black color you cannot change those values okay so as i said that uh, when when uh, your system will start at that time in the beginning you will see that your opening balance will be in blue color that means if you are in paper trading mode and if opening balance is in blue color then you are allowed to change that uh, opening balance but once you have changed this opening balance to a given value which or you like then afterwards it will automatically automatically become disabled and will become black so that you cannot edit this value again if you want to change your opening balance and live balance again you need to restart your system you are fixing your opening balance balance only once in the beginning only okay then the next one yeah here it has been shown that i have changed it from uh, 139000 to 5 lakh so i have changed it and it has changed once only that's all in the beginning then Uh, this is about the strategy which we have implemented there are uh, four different uh, five different strategies case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 and uh, these are uh, implemented in nifty bank nifty and fin nifty now you can see that uh, for this to select the f pnl has to be changed to a appropriate uh, appropriate um, uh, field if you will click on a pnl it will change it to a pnl 20% a pnl 33% a pnl 50% and by default it will be a pnl so a pnl by default will be taken only in case of case 1 and case 2 so case 1 the minimum one will be in case of nifty is one lot in bank nifty one to three lot and in fin nifty one lot now in this case your uh, uh, your quantity will be trailed always after trailing after trailing whenever it will comes down 50% from your maximum unrealized profit it will book it and this funda is is available for all of the uh, all of the cases that means case 1 to case 5 in the second case that means second case nifty is 2 to 36 bank nifty is bank nifty is 4 to 60 and fin nifty is fin nifty is 2 to uh, 2 to 40 uh, 45 so uh, these are the slots now um, uh, the second case is the default one the second case is 
in this case, we are trailing by 50%. But trailing by 50%, then the stop loss is taken to the previous uh, balanced booked 50%. Okay. So trail book 50% of previous booked balance quantity. So it is in that way. I will show you the demonstration that way. That, that time you will be able to understand. Then case 3, uh, 36 to 4, uh, 2 to 36, same thing is there. But only the difference will be in booking. In booking, we, we are going for 20% uh, booking. Uh, as uh, Sir has already explained this. If you have any doubt, we will, we will address this. The fourth case will be 33% and the fifth case will be 50% first, then 30% and then 20%. So you can say that in case five, there are only three trailings. That three trailing means two booking and one trailing. And that one trailing will trail continuously until the until the underlying will fall 50% from its unrealized profit. What does it mean? The last trail will book. The last trail will book all quantity when PL fall below 50% of maximum unrealized profit. Then the below one is that is some special cases are there in case three, case four, and case five. Now these special cases are generated only because of the logic which we have implemented. That is twenty percent, thirty-three percent, and fifty percent. In a way that if I have only two quantities in case three, so if I have only two quantities in case three, in that case, even if case three can trail up to five, up to can book up to four different uh, stages, and the fifth one will get trailed. In that case we will be able to book only first two lots. That means in the first trail, first lot and second trail, second lot. So that's why this second case, that means in two case, it will fall into this particular category. So that is case three. Then case four and case five will be in the same way for 33% and 50%. Okay. I will show you the demonstration that time we'll be able to clear it. Then the next one is the uh, minimum, uh, the, the maximum, the default, uh, um, profit points will be 12 points, 24 points and 10 points. The next one, the minimum quantity should be 8, 16 and 8 at, uh, in uh, profit points. Then here you may encounter such situation. Now what you can see here is my quantity is equal to 0. Now why my quantity is 0? The reason is that my stop loss is very big. My, if my stop loss is very big, it will show by red color that your stop loss is very big. You cannot go for a trade. So this is the indication. Then if you would like to go for scalping, this is scalp button. Now in this scalping, we have implemented the logic in the way that your bull SL and bear SL will always be less than and greater than five points in case of Nifty, 10 points in case of Bank Nifty and five points in case of Fin Nifty. If you are pressing this button, the same will be indicated in a red color in the respective row of Nifty, Bank Nifty and Fin Nifty. Then uh, here you can see that some people were using this paper trading for uh, uh, paper trading uh, to take a trade. But uh, when they have an uh, open orders, if they have an open orders in their zero the account, then in that case, it gives a, uh, a, a it is not allowing you to take the trade. So it shows you a message, something like this, that is clear pending orders. Now we have taken trade, but the problem is that zero in zero the you have pending order. And because of that, it is not taking. Now, this is their only paper, paper license. If you have real license, you can take a trade, uh, even if you have an pending orders in zero. Da. Okay. Then the next one is uh, 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 here. You can see that my stop loss is uh, 19800 and my current, uh, uh, this thing, my current underlying is 1901. So in this case, my stop loss is only of one point. But in this case, if I am taking a trade with this situation, that means my uh, uh, this thing underlying is 19801 and my stop loss is 1980. That means the stop loss is of one point and I'm, I'm taking a trade. Let's say I have clicked on to see uh, 19750. Now in that case, what will happen? It, it will take a trade, but it will change the stop loss from one point to five points like this. And it will it will take the trade. So the, uh, why this is uh, implemented is only accidentally if you have clicked on to accidentally if you have clicked on to this strike where the stop loss is only one point. Okay. In that case, we will take care of that making a stop loss in case of nifty it is five point in bank nifty it is 10 point and in fin nifty it is uh, five points again. 
so that care has been taken the next one is how to again one more feature is there in our system that you can take a breakout and uh, pullback trade so all of you are knowing this concept that what is breakout and what is pullback so in case of uh, breakout and pullback you can refer this chart already it is there in the instruction manual if you have any doubts i will clear this regarding this also now look at this if i would like to take a normal trade and i would like to uh, in that case i may, i would like to keep this uh, chart breakout and pullback on to the chart in that case my values should be 0 0 0 if i am changing this value it will throw an error or it will not allow these values to be edited then the next one is breakout now you can see that in this breakout trade what i have done is now my breakout value is 19820 and my stop loss is 19810 my stop loss excellent points in 10 and my current uh, underlying is 19800.50 right now this is my breakout trade as and when it will reach to 18 uh, 19820 it will take a trade with the stop loss of 18 uh, sorry 19810 and that is in points 10 so this is what is the breakout trade now if suppose we have you have selected a breakout trade but we have not provided the value in the bre uh, breakout field in that case it will give you an error check selection what you did you have taken a trade you have selected chart bo and you have not given the value of breakout then it will indicate in the uh, above field that check selection then the next is possible for a pull uh, pullback trade now i want to take a pullback trade that means right now the nifty is 19803.95 i would like to take a trade when it will come down to 19780 with a stop loss of 19770 so whenever it will reach there it will take a trade so this is pullback strategy now the same thing is there if you have selected pullback but you have not provided the value then it will show you an indication that check selection the next one is if internet connection is not there by mistake means uh, if there is some problem and if internet connection is not there it will indicate it by two different states the first state is first condition is check internet and zero the and the second is exception is exception in main data now this exception is exception in main data is only because of the values which the program is not taking the software is not taking because of this the exception is there so this is uh, all about the presentation now i'll show show you the actual installation procedure जस्ट मोमेंट आई विल शो यू नाउ विल सी द एक्चुअल इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस मे बी आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग फर्स्ट टाइम आई डोंट नो अबाउट द स्पीड एंड ऑल एंड हाउ आई एम डूइंग एंड ऑल Are you able to see this screen, Prakash Gaba screen? Hello. No. Hello. Are you able to see the screen? No, sir. Yes, yes. We can. We can see the screen. Uh, now I am going to Prakash Gaba dot com. Right. Then I am going to Auto Risk Manager. I am filling in the information. which or is there you can select according to your choice and then click on download msi you will see that it will start downloading here are you able to see my screen everybody please okay so this way you will see that the downloading has been started if you want to download instruction manual click on that simultaneously you will see that the instruction manual will get opened here if you want to download this instruction manual you can download it from the download button so my downloading is completed for instruction manual in the same way we'll get downloaded here in this way
So after downloading, I have already that with me. So what I will do is I will just pause this. Shall I pause? बाकी जो लोग का डिसेबल है ना हाँ डिसेबल एक हद दो नज़र में पड़ा हो गया तो करंट है ना आपके फीचर्स हैं नहीं सही आह पास करा तुम चकरे डाउनलोड वाले सेल पी रखा सो दिस वे आफ्टर इंस्टॉलेशन यू विल सी दैट सच thing will be there, uh, ARM uh, software will be there in your downloads. Now, he screamed, kill it, he kill it. Yeah. Now, we, are, uh, uh, we will start our installation by double clicking onto this. Click on next. It will install it. After finishing installation, you, you can see that this ARM folder is here, which is created on C drive. Huh? You can open from this location also, or you can open from uh, desktop. If you will huh. uh, are you able to see the screen now, my GUI? Yes, so you can see the black window, that is the console window, and this is my GUI. Now I will provide my, if I am not providing zero the ID, then what will happen? I, we will see. You need to you need to read these essentials. Click on OK. User ID not matching. It will say that user ID not matching. Now I am putting my zero the ID. That is MX0597. And I am clicking on login by either one, whichever I like. Uh, means uh, if my Chrome is supporting, then you can go for Chrome or Edge or manual. So I will go for Chrome. Click on next. Maximum risk is at the entry level. Trade what you see, not what you think. Trade the market, not the forecast. I want my trade my way. Otherwise, I don't want the trade. So after System this is ready to take positions in paper trading mode. Fine. Now you are in paper trading mode. You can see uh, paper trading mode and you have which license you have real license. You can see here I have a real license and I am in paper and real both. Right. Since I am paper and real both this you will see that this field opening balance field is disabled. Right. So in that case, I cannot provide. If I am in paper only mode, then in that case, I can use this. Uh, I can change this balance. I can, I'll show you. You have successfully logged out. I have logged out now. I'm logging in again. Right. So I'm logging in into. Maximum risk is at the entry level. Trade what you see, not what you think. Trade the market, not the forecast.
taxed. Sorry, basically we I have to change this to paper notes. I don't want the trade. System is ready to take positions in paper trading mode. You have successfully logged out. Okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. Are you able to see my screen? Okay. Just a moment. Okay. Now uh, I will open this and then I will change it to paper only mode and then I will log in. You click on maximum okay. risk is at the entry level. Trade what you see, not what you think. Trade the market, not the forecast. I want my trade my way, otherwise, I don't want the trade. Now, after this, you System can see. is ready to take positions in paper trading mode. You can see that now this is in blue color. That means you are able to change it. I have a real license and I am working in paper, paper only mode, so I can change it. If I have a real license, and if I am uh, in paper real mode, I cannot change it. So this way we can change the mode. Uh, now, uh, I will show you how to take a trade. As I said that the initial values will be 0, 0, 0. All values are 0, 0, 0. So we need to wait for either uh, 3 minutes, 5 minutes or 15 minutes. But it doesn't mean that all the time you need to wait. Even if you want to take a trade right now, you can take it by changing this value. So even if it is zero, I will change it to, let us say, 19, 19,760, right? Because right now the currently value is 19,772. And if I will take a trade in a normal uh, mode, I will click on this ITM button. It will take a trade. So I need not have to wait for three seconds or sorry, three minutes, five minutes or 15 minutes. If you are confident, you can edit the bull and bear stop loss and you can still take a trade. But if you want automatically generated stop losses, then you need to wait for three minutes, five minutes and 15 minutes and so on. So this way you can take a trade. Now, since I have not selected change this uh, profit strategy, that's why it has taken the default one that is a PNL. Now, if I want to exit, I can click on this SL exit button so that it will get exited. Fine. Now to refresh, I need to click on refresh. Let us say that I would like to reset it. Paper trading mode. Okay. Let us say that I would like to take a trade in 20%. So I will change it to 20%. And after changing it to 20%, then I can click on to take a trade. So I will click on to take a trade. It will be in 20%. It will show here in 20%. So you can see that at this point, you can see that it is NF 20% and the timing is started. Uh, I don't know whether you are able to see this or not. Are you able to see this NF 20%? I can see it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so that way it is 20%. If you will change it, it will change accordingly. But this will get applicable. That means here, whatever, uh, whatever values are there. Let me show you those values again. Here you can see Please that. Trading. Here you can see that the first one is FPNL. FPNL. This FPNL is for the first two cases, that means case one and case two, which I have showed you, right? Then the next one is FPNL 20%. Then the next next one is FPNL 33%, and the last one is FPNL 50%. Now this 20%, 33%, and 50% is applicable only when the condition is there. Only when your values in case of Nifty, Bank Nifty, and Fin Nifty will be 2 to 36. 4 to 60 and 2 to 45. In that case only it will uh, uh, it will get uh, this particular uh, strategy will be applicable. So it is in this way. Now I will show you uh, by 50%. If it isn't, I have selected it by 50% and I am taking a trade. 
now you will see that it is 50% similarly if i would like to take a trade in bank nifty i can say bank nifty bank nifty and let us say i am using the default one so i'll keep it as it is and i will take a trade with the proper stop loss i have selected bank nifty uh, and then right now the value is 14057 now if i am taking a c side trade then it will be 46 Zero fifty, uh, let's say forty-six zero fifty, and then I am taking a trade. So this way, I have taken the second trade, wherein my strategy is default one. Even if I have taken twenty-three lots, my strategy is default one. Default one means what now? It will, uh, it will book first out of twenty-three. It will book first uh, half profit. Then whatever is remaining, it will book half of that. Then whatever is remaining, it will book half of that. So the strategy is this. Then the last one is let us say I am taking say, uh, the one more trade in Fin Nifty, and Fin Nifty I am taking it let us say by thirty three percent. So I have selected thirty three percent, and then I will take a trade uh, uh, after selecting the proper uh, stop losses. Now the stop loss is twenty six, uh, let us say twenty, and then I am taking the trade. So the strategy which I have selected is thirty three percent. Now you can see that I have taken three trades, and all three trades have got different strategy uh, according to my selection, and those are all working. This bulls, uh, sorry, this profit points below profit points. You are see, you are, you can see that it is blinking in blue and white color. It indicates that your trailing is in, uh, trailing is active. And the above blue color, which is showing, show, which is showing your put expiry, it is showing that your soft trade is working. So these two kind of, um, you know, uh, understanding are there. So if you want to book, all of you are knowing that you can book it by clicking on to this exit button. So you can click on exit button, it will book the uh, profit or loss which you is there. Okay. Right. So this way it will go, and then you can click on refresh button to refresh this. Now I am in now I say I am in a paper only mode. If I am changing this paper uh, paper to real, it will not change it because I am in paper only mode. You can say that I am changing it. Changing means I am toggling it, but it is not toggling because I am in paper only mode. If I will be in real mode, it will change it. I will show you that also after some time. Okay, and uh, this is just. Yeah, here you can use this chart, chart B O N chart T B. As I said, let's say if I want to take a normal trade, then it has to be on the chart, and you should you should not write anything. Even if you will write right here, let's say I'm trying to write here. Uh, let's say say nineteen thousand seven hundred eight. I'm trying to write here, but you it will not get get them there. That means it will not accept these values are not editable. Yeah, when it is in chart, but when it is in breakout, let's say I would like to take a breakout trade. Now, if I would like to take a breakout trade right now, let's say I am in fifty fifty, and I would like to take a breakout trade right now. The value is nine nine seven seven zero two, and I would like to take a breakout trade. So, so probably I will take a trade on the uh, higher side. So it will be nineteen seven eighty. Let's say. At 1970, I would like to take a trade, and my stop loss. I want my stop loss to be 19, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7
when the query is ran plan 7 7 i will write the data right with the stop 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 it says 19740 i want what is stop stop 7740 now now i can write one plus is 19770 it will tell it right but not only on the executive this delete will be written inside the new new with touch on 19770 it will take this data and then they can take this by side right right whenever you will go there you will tell it right and then you will come up then you will be able to all all the business right right and that is the exit and whatever you have done more on break out the same thing is here here is you can say sir let's say sorry sorry let's say i have said in back back My my answer is here. Yes yes yes. Okay okay. Let's say I have this data back back and I have to find my my solution. Same same solution or here there is also breakout. Same same solution. I have to iterate. Then then it will be again again solution solution solution. Okay okay. So if you want to iterate it, then you can iterate it. Okay okay. 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 Okay
Hello. No, yes, yes, yes. Yes, you are audible. In case of in case of breakout or pullback trades, uh, while we specify those uh, you know entry points, uh, we also have to specify the uh, SL at the same time. Yeah, stop loss also. We need to we need to specify that. All right. Thank you. In in ARM software, without stop loss, you cannot use it. Stop loss is compulsory. <laughs> That's perfect. And, Thank you. and what should be the strike price that we should be clicking on to? Which are strike price here? There are only three options which I have given. Only three strike prices are there. That is nothing but ITM, ATM, and OTM. You will have to select one of these which are of your interest. Irrespective of our stop losses, we have to click any of the prices, right? Yeah, you are, you are writing your stop loss and all according to that point only, no? And you are very close to that because we are playing in, you know, five minute and three minute and 15 minutes so the probability is that you are very close to your strike and all the prices are very close to that plus the stop loss is on the underlying yeah stop loss is on the these stop losses are on the other underlying so in case of in case of breakout trades um you know where we put the value there again we have to uh, speci uh, specify the atm itm yeah, the... look at this look at this i'll be showing you let sure. us say I would like to take a breakout trade. I am in Bank Nifty. I would like to take a breakout trade. Now, breakout trade is there means what? What value should be there at this particular point? It should be greater than 46.057. That's right. Right? Yeah. This, this value. Yeah. This value, it is 46.0. Let's say uh, right now it is 70. Okay. Right? I would yeah. like to take this breakout trade. Now, my stop loss should be below this. Means it should be below 46.070. I may put it is 46.065, right? But 65 it won't take because in Bank Nifty, the minimum stop loss is of 10 points. Okay. Right? So here you need to write the minimum stop loss, whatever is there. Let's say I'm taking here instead of this, I'll make it a 46, uh, 46, 0, uh, let's say 90, right? And I'm making it this one, 46, 0, 70. That way I can take and I can click on these any one of these three options so i can click on there it will take a trade according to your you know the uh, the risk reward ratio uh, sorry your uh, risk and your stop loss now you can see here zero is printed in red color now what does it mean you are not you are, you cannot take this trade because it is not uh, it is not fixing in your risk reward ratio right uh, sorry not in this reward ratio that is your risk and money management your stop loss is bigger or your uh, risk is uh, uh, risk is uh, lesser. Okay. So if I will change this, let's say I am changing it to uh, 46.080. Then it will take a trade. Look at this. It has taken trade. It has taken trade means it has selected a trade, but it will take the trade only when 46.090 will reach. Okay. Perfect. That's, that's what I wanted to understand. Thank you. Fine. Sir, I want to ask Hello, one question. Please, please. Hello. Yes, please. Uh, sir, uh, in uh, future, we can uh, trade different way or uh, option in different way or both are same? No, right now in this software, right now you can trade only options. You okay. cannot trade future. Okay. Hello, sir. Thank you. Uh, will Hello, sir. Hello. Will this work in MacBook? Uh, no. no, right now it is not supporting. But if you have Windows installed in MacBook, you can. Yes, yes, yes. That means uh, yes. parallel parallel windows are a virtual machine. You you can do that kind of activity. Okay, thank you. Sir, how to pyramid how, how to pyramid this? No how pyramiding allowed. Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, how can I know that my profit is booking? Here you can see in Yup PNL. In Yup PNL, you will see that the, your profit is booked. Are you getting? How can I get the real license? Yeah, you will get that real license within few days. Some problems are there. Gavas are already informed all of you. No. Yeah, there's an integration issues. So that integration issues. Hopefully, I am told that we solve by Friday. If it happens earlier, we'll do it. But uh, let's hope within a day or two will be happening and we'll announce it. Hopefully, it should be done by Monday. Hopefully. Can, can I book a profit manually if I want? Of course. Yes. By just, 
yes you can click manually whenever you want sir one thing i want to ask uh, that uh, uh, there is a three time frame 3 minute 5 minute 15 minutes yeah and uh, i am also uh, trading in options also yeah. but uh, when i used to see three minute chart of future bank mm -hmm. nifty nifty mm -hmm. but uh, it's not working it's very fast i thought uh, it's uh, if i see the three minute chart but it's uh, just like look like that one minute hello. is going on there hello so hello sir hello yeah to address this 3 minute hello am i audible yes go ahead yeah. yes sir yeah to address this 3 minute as i said in the beginning that 3 3 minute candle or 5 minute candle or 15 minute candle whichever is there the the high and the low values are closer to the candle values closer not exactly same remember and that's why this feature is given that you can change this value if you want are you getting what i am telling yes sir you I can said, you can edit these values if you want right so before trade or after trade before trade only because stop loss has to be given before trade only our stop software is not working without stop loss so what does it mean you need to provide first stop loss and then only the trade will be taken Okay, and fine, even sir. and even if you have forgotten to provide the stop loss and you have taken a trade and if the conditions are okay. matching then it will take the stop loss by default that is five points in case of Nifty five points in case of Pin Nifty and ten points in case of Bank Nifty which I have already addressed in the beginning. Okay, sir. Thank you. Inspector, sir. Uh, hello. Uh, Attorney, zero minutes. Sir, parat sangta ilka. Sir, sir. Sorry, how much hello. balance we need, sir, for this trade? No, for paper trading you need zero balance even. Even you have zero balance, you can take a paper trade. Hello, sir. But, my question is: Yes, can you ask question? Hello. Yes, madam. What you said, I, I, I think I have addressed you. No, sir. No, sir. See, if you have a paper license, even if your zero the account has got a zero balance, you can still use this software. You can write whatever uh, balance you want. Okay, sir. But it's not working, na, sir. Yeah, it is working. Probably you are not following the procedure, or you know, you are not reading the instruction manual. I can show you right now if you want. Yes. Can like you show me, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just show me. I will open my zero account balance because that is also very important because so many people are using in that way only. You have successfully lost account. Let's say I will open my account which has got zero balance, literally. Hello. Hello, sir. After yeah, download, yeah, yes, after downloading the uh, ARM, but still not opening. Please see my uh, screen of laptop screen. Yes, yes, yes. See, all are working for this. If you are coming onto the chat by you know Prakash Gaba Mentoring uh, dot com, that email address you have given, yes. right? So you come onto the chat, and your problem will get solved immediately. I have so just struggled this. very lot uh, since yesterday. Uh, since yesterday night, they. Uh, Excuse me, Tarsley, you are doing something wrong. 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 and my this thing is mv1394 now i am starting my software particularly that madam you can you can have a look at this now i will change it to mv1394 and then i will log in i am logging in maximum risk is at the entry level <laughs> Trade what you see, not what you think. Trade the market, not the forecast. I want my trade my way. Otherwise, I don't want the trade. Look at this console window. In console Mr. window, you ready to take positions to make a trading move. Yeah, you can see my license is paper license now. This is my zero ID, and I am in paper trading mode. All will get printed here. Now you can see that my balance is zero. 
right okay, sir. i am in paper mode now i am putting my balance whatever i want but this stance is given only once you cannot change this balance all the time throughout your this session if you want to change you need to restart your system so let's say i am putting your file act right i am clicking on to enter button now i am clicking on yes my file act file act will get deposited right? okay 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 now you can simply uh, take a trade let's say i would like to take a trade hello. bull side i can write here 19 let's say 750 and i can take a trade yeah this way i have taken a trade in nifty hello okay sir hello, yeah. hello. Yes, so please. what is minimum system requirement for this because your system is building very fast windows 11 and windows 10 only yeah you are and speed and ram no anything yes yeah hardware requirement yes hardware requirement it is working with windows 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 10 and 11 4 gb ram to be clear yeah 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 to be clear sorry sorry हेलो हम पांडे बोल रहे हैं हाँ पांडे जी बोलिए सर इसमें पेपर ट्रेडिंग का लाइसेंस मिला हुआ है लेना पड़ेगा अभी आपने अगर वो फॉर्म भरा होगा तो आपको ऑलरेडी एक्टिवेट किया हुआ है और फॉर्म भर दिया है हाँ तो भर दिया है तो आपको एक्टिवेट कर दिया है प्रॉबली यू आर मिसिंग सम ऑफ द स्टेप्स वो ठीक है रियल रियल के लिए क्या लाइसेंस लेना पड़ेगा अलग से हाँ रियल के लिए लाइसेंस भी लेना पड़ेगा जैसे सर ने आप लोगों को इंस्ट्रक्शन दिया हुआ है एक हफ्ते के बाद बात करेंगे उस, उसके लिए कुछ पैसा देना है क्या बात करेंगे एक हफ्ते के बाद ओके ओके सर ओके हेलो ओके क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस राइट हेलो यस प्लीज सर इसमें जीरोदा आईडी से लॉगिन करने के बाद सर ई टोकन अटेम्प्ट का ऑप्शन आ रहा है सर हाँ तो ई टोकन उसको दे दीजिए अभी आपके सिस्टम में मतलब अगर किसी को ई टोकन वो मांग रहा है इसका मतलब है आपका क्रोम का प्रोफाइल या आपका एज का प्रोफाइल प्रॉपरली मैनेज नहीं है तो या तो आपको आपका क्रोम और जो भी है एज उसको अन करके प्रॉपरली री करके वो चलेगा मैंने ऐसा बहुत सारे लोगों का करके दिया है इट इज वर्किंग फाइन लेकिन अगर फिर भी नहीं चलता है तो आप ई टोकन कॉपी कर सकते हो शाल आई शो यू दाउ टू कॉपी दी टोकन ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी दैट स्नैपशॉट इज देयर एंड अच्छा वो जो वीडियो एक और सर ने पोस्ट की थी सर वो वाला टोकन इसमें लग जाएगा हाँ इसमें लग जाएगा चलिए थैंक यू सर अच्छा हेलो वापस देखिए दो बार देखिए तीन बार देखिए सब हो जाएगा आप लोग मेहनत नहीं कर रहे और कुछ नहीं हेलो कैन वी ट्रेड निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी फिन निफ्टी एट ए टाइम At a time you can take you can take a trade. Just now I have shown you that uh, procedure. Look at this. I have taken. Yeah, this yeah. Time. That's what I want to confirm. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. then. Okay. Sir Prasad here. What Sir, is the significance? Hello. What, what is the significance hello. of emotions? In yeah, this one. This is just a button which you can use for recording. You know. Okay. That means this will get printed here whenever you will take a trade. Now here, look at this. This line. Yeah. right now yeah. it is optimistic yeah okay yeah. now let's say that i have booked this particular profit and i become an aggressive one mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. i have reset it this and i will change it to reset it table trading mode now i am in panic mode mm -hmm. right and i have taken a trade let's say i have taken a trade yeah yeah right now you will see that the information will get recorded that you were panicked at that particular time okay so and this... all this information will get recorded into your data logger Okay. And this data logger, you can use it for your own reference for analysis purpose. After you know, uh, the, after seven days or after one month, you can have this analysis your own. We we can correlate our P and L with our state of mind. Yeah, exactly. So you, I have given you an around I think fifteen different uh, yeah, emotions I have recorded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Thank you. Sir, Thank I am you. doing. Oh, no. Sir, I am doing uh, uh, trade in Nifty, but yeah. uh, in my software, uh, Bank Nifty is not uh, working at the same time. In Fin Nifty also, if I want to take three time, uh, three trade at a time. Yes, you can take. 
No sir, in my software it's not working. Can anyway, you download me? the software again. Delete the software and download it again. Maybe That's you all. have older Sakar version. Sir. Perhaps uh, you have old version. Just do that. That's it. It's working. If yeah. it's not working, then something is wrong with you. Just sir, remove it. Can you Delete show it? the procedure one uh, at least one time? Which no, procedure? You have done. We have already told you. Now you have to confirm it. Software is running. Hello. Now it's going to be old version. Now do it please. Hello. Everybody, Hello. please come Hello. to the chat. Everybody, Hello. those have problem, come on to the chat. Chat section is there, right? Come on to the chat. Okay. Sir, sir, log glitch hai usme. Sir, e e token na process bataiye na sir, fir se ek baar. E token. Ab apne video kya udhar video? Nahi sir. Acha ek baar bata do. Acha sir. Let's record one only one. Okay. Okay. Only one hour. Ab bandu jayega. If a bandu jayega bhi, it will get over because the the beat is for one hour. Yes. Sir, yes. sir, it's a glitch. Yes, you so have successfully logged. Just try once if it's working. Just try once. Okay, I'll I'll show you. Hmm. For that, I need to delete this. Okay, I will show you how to copy e token and all. No, please don't disturb now because yeah. there's very little time left. Look at the look at the procedure. I have started my software. Okay, I have it uh, given my. MB one three nine four, okay. And then I have clicked on manual mode or whichever you would like to go for. Now I will go for manual mode. I will click on OK. Provide e token manually. Now it is asking me to provide e token manually. Now how to copy that? Go into orders. Okay. Open inspect. After opening inspect, you need to go into network. In network, go into fetch XHR. Refresh, refresh the browser. Click onto the orders. After going into orders, go down and find authentication e token. You need to select after e token. You need to select up to is equal to is equal to double equal to. You need to copy this section, copy this section, and paste it into that field. Paste it and then click OK. That's all. These are the steps for to copy e token. Just point it here. The biggest advantage is you don't have to pay two thousand rupees a month. Trade the market, not the forecast. It's free. I want my trade my way. Otherwise, I don't want the trade. System yeah. is ready to take positions in paper trading mode. That's all. Now I have copied the uh, e token and system is working fine. Any more questions? Sir, two two questions. Sir, Hello. Hello. Sir, one more. Please, one more, sir. Please. No, no. Sorry. Sir, mera, it will not happen. Sir, Watch the video again. Sir, Watch the video again. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Any question? Yes, please. Sir, sir, one thing. Ah, my one question. Hello. One person at a time, please. Hello. Hello. Sir, can I talk? Ah, uh, Deepak here from Delhi. Yeah, Deepak. Deepak. Actually, my name is installed here. The I think uh, some reason are there. No, working. Not working. आप चैट सेक्शन में आ जाइए ना हम लोग ने आपको मेल भेजे है कि आप चैट करो हम लोग उसका सॉल्यूशन देंगे मैंने तीन बार मैसेज दे दिया तभी मैंने अभी आपको बात पूछ रहा हूं क्योंकि मेरा आंसर आया नहीं इसलिए मैंने दोबारा आपसे पूछ रहा हूं गूगल चैट वेयर यू के आई डोंट नो वेयर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट गूगल चैट गूगल चैट नाउ आई एम सेंडिंग द मैसेज हियर ओनली नॉट हियर गूगल चैट नो नो मेंटरिंग @gmail.com Actually, some issue. I don't know what the thing are there, but uh, working नहीं हो रहा है क्या बस अब? क्या क्या problem क्या आ रहा है आपका? Sorry? क्या problem आ रहा है? नहीं सुन पाए क्या बोल रहे हो? क्या क्या problem क्या आ रहा है? Oh oh oh! ये page open हो जाता है जहाँ भी मेरे को ये page दिख रहा है ना यहाँ से login और इसके बाद का second option में नहीं जा रहा है। जैसे install होके install होने के बाद दो page आता है। एक first one the information का और एक होता है आपका strike price का। तो यहाँ के बाद वर्किंग नहीं होता है नहीं होता नहीं है मतलब आप आप आपका यूजर आईडी उसमें डाल रहे हो क्या जी जी ये अपना जेरुदा से लॉगिंग करके आपने ओपन किया था नहीं, नहीं, नहीं। पता नहीं आप प्रोफाइल के नीचे आपका जेरुदा का आईडी डाल के लॉग कर रहे हो क्या जी 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 आप एक काम कीजिए गाभा मेटरिंग एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम पे एक मेल डालिए ठीक है गाभा मेंटरिंग जी मेल डॉट कॉम पे एक मेल डालिए हम लोगों ने बहुत सारे एड्रेसेस किए हैं शायद आप गलत जगह पे मेल डाल रहे हो ओके 
आई रिपीट गाभा मेंटोरिंग एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम जिस किसी को भी जो भी प्रॉब्लम है वो गाभा मेंटोरिंग जी मेल डॉट कॉम पे मेल डालिए और उसी उसी अकाउंट पे चैट कीजिए ठीक है वी आर वर्किंग अराउंड अराउंड ट्वेंटी आवर्स वी आर वर्किंग हेलो नो वरी नो वरी मे बी मेरे से कुछ प्रॉब्लम हुआ होगा मैं फिर दोबारा करके फिर आपसे बात करता हूँ नेक्स्ट दिस इज धीमान चक्रवर्ती हेयर सर बोलिए यस यस हां सर uh, मैं मेल तो कर दूंगा सर uh, अब अभी जो लेटेस्ट जो सर आपने uh, ये एआरएम भेजा है वो मैंने सारा डिलीट uh, मतलब अनइंस्टॉल uh, करके उसको इंस्टॉल किया लेकिन वो एक एरर शो कर रहा है ये एरर मैंने रिकॉर्ड करके रखा है सर मोबाइल में दिस इज बीसी रन टाइम 140.dll या दैट इज द दैट इज या सीएसएस आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट पॉइंट दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ योर विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम probably okay. your windows operating system has not been updated to the latest version if okay. you will update your windows operating system to the latest version then okay. automatically this problem should get solved okay sir iske pehle jo aapne do bar jo bheja tha wo abhi bhi chalu kiya to work hota hai lekin jab jo latest jo bheja bas usi mein ye error aa raha hai ha correct hai na wo nahi chalega right hai lekin updated version to aapko fir baaki sare features nahi milenge usme ओके ओके सर राइट जब तो तक आपका लाइसेंस है आपका लाइसेंस ये मंथ एंड तक है ओके okay. जो पुराना वर्जन आपको दिया है उसका लाइसेंस आपका मंथ एंड तक है तो okay. तब तक वो चलेगा उसके बाद में नहीं चलेगा ओके okay. तो सर ये ये जो मैंने अभी आपको जो एरर जो अभी बताया ये डॉट डी वाला तो इसके लिए मेरे को वो अपडेट विंडोज अपडेट करना पड़ेगा विंडोज अपडेट करो और चार्ट करो जैसे जो मैंने बोला ना गाभा ओके आप अगर वहां पर आए तो आपका प्रॉब्लम जल्दी से जल्दी सॉल्व हो जाएगा ठीक है सर मैं चैट पे इस पर बात करता हूँ क्योंकि पहले वाले सॉफ्टवेयर तो अभी भी चल रहे हैं लेकिन जो लेटेस्ट भेजे उसी में ही वो फ्लैश हो रहा है राइट 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 ओके okay. तो अब सर ये विंडोज अपडेट तो करता मैं करते रहता हूँ सर जब भी मैसेज आता है मैं करता हूँ लेकिन मतलब ये आनंद चीज है सर मैं राइट
ये यहां से आप आप सेलेक्ट करना है ये डिफॉल्ट और डिफॉल्ट आपको ये करना है ये तीनों को ये यहां पर जो मैं दिखा रहा हूं ये है अंडर लेयर सिलेक्शन का मतलब कैप्चर का पर यहां से सिलेक्ट होता है आपको दिख रहा है